Hi, this is Shandan here from the Currency Advisory Desk with today's update. Well, we had the British manufacturing production uh, figure which came in at 1% versus an expectation of 0.3% yesterday. Now, the French trade balance also came in at a negative 3.4 billion versus an expectation of negative 4.9 billion. And the Bank of Japan refrained from adding any unprecedented monetary stimulus as Governor Kuroda said that the blow to the economy from last week's sales tax increase will fade during the summer. So there wasn't much action from the Bank of Japan as far as you know, the monetary policy was concerned. People were expecting that they would tinker around with the rates, but they maintained status quo and hence uh, the markets were a bit mild on uh, Japanese data. Looking at our markets, well the Indian rupee closed at 60.112 versus the previous close of 60.0809. Now, the election manifesto which was released by the Bharatiya Janata Party disappointed some investors uh, as it contained an opposition to the FDI in, uh, in multi-plant retail that is. So we saw that you know the uh, expectations that were being built that the BJP would, if, if they come in power, they would probably bring in more uh, FDI into the country. The manifesto said something else altogether. Hence, the expectations were disappointed by traders. Now, SEBI has revoked restrictions on the dollar rupee futures contract by relaxing margins to the level observed prior to July 2013. Now, in uh, July 2013, or before that, we had the margins for currency futures for the dollar rupee contract was something around 3.5 to 4 percent. Right now, they are around 5 to 6 percent. So, SEBI has gone ahead and revised this back to 3.5 to 4 percent. And probably this will be effective from 15th of April 2014. And the dollar index is at 79.88, which is up by 0.04%. And looking at the future levels for the contracts, well, the dollar will be futures contract closed at 60.49. We are bullish on the dollar. There is support at 59.80, and the resistance is there at 60.78. For the euro, there is support at 82.50, and the resistance is around 83.58. For the pound, we see that there is support around 98.92 and the rest is 100.80. And for the yen, there is support at 57.98 and the rest is at 58.80. Looking at the major data that will shape markets today, so firstly, we will be getting the German trade balance and British trade balance figure during our market hours. Post that, we will be having the FOMC meeting minutes. Now, this will be post our market hours, so this will, the effect of this will probably be seen in tomorrow's opening. Well, that's it from the currency advisory. Thank you.